Ravenous dead. Grotesque. How was that? How did that happen? I didn't even... Didn't look like I did much there. The heal's nice, though, really. I mean, this is... Undoubtedly, this class is going to be strong and hardcore. The question really is, how fragile is it going to be? Because... When we, when we think of the monk, what immediately comes to mind is kind of like the, the melee glass cannon. We're thinking of like the wizard version of the melee characters, you know? It does a lot of damage, and you know, the healing is beautiful for this class, but how much damage can he take head on? You know, and obviously this based on, you know, things like the mantra of evasion. Uh, clearly, it's all about avoidance and healing, uh, even though, you know, he'll be maybe taking more damage. Uh, the class in general than say a barbarian he's able to heal through it and and avoid it so so who knows May maybe this will just be the definitive class for hardcore i mean the fact that there's that ruined ability that's going to be bringing the monk back to life upon death urgh, that's <laughs> that's uh mighty strong yes it is guys yes it is took the words right out of my mouth very strong indeed so we'll have to see how that one plays out. You know what people didn't want to see? They did want to take a look at the combination. So let's take a look at that. All right, so you can see here. <clears throat> let's go um, Fist, of Th Fist of Thunder. And let's go ahead and put Dashing Strike there. Okay, good. All right, so I want to show you guys how the combinations work with the monk. So as you've noticed, these basic generators here, they've got st stages, ready? See, so we can see stage one, two, and three. So you see that, right? There's one, two, three, three different stages. And now same thing with Fist of Thunder, one, two, three. So you see that third stage is a bigger, a bigger hit. Um, all right, so now let's, let's try to mix it up. Let's go one, two, three. Okay, did you see that? So the third one normally is the big explosion. Now we can open up one, two with deadly reach, and then the third one, if we, if the, on the third attack we hit Fist of Thunder, it brings us to that third. Now let's switch it up. Let's go one, two with Fist of Thunder and hit the third attack of deadly reach. So we can see the third attack of deadly reach is that longer attack. It's got kind of that jettison in the middle. So let's go one, two, three. You see that? So you can mix up your attacks, and that's kind of one of the one of the benefits of the class. You know, Fist of Thunder in on the skill calculator on the website is showing the ability for that third strike to do kind of a, a frontal amount of damage. It doesn't say that it does it here, but it's supposed to deal damage to enemies enemies directly in front of you. So the fact that these third attacks are supposed to be a little bit different, a little bit beefier than those initial, those first one and two, then that's kind of going to be the thing. You're going to be able to set up attacks. And I like that. I like that a lot. So did that explain it for you guys? You guys, <laughs> do you guys even know what I'm talking about? But yeah, you can you can mix it up, and you can you can do. It doesn't have to be exactly like that. You know, you can even do. Uh, you can go one, you know, back and forth, right? See, so I mean, that's there's all sorts of options, really. And let's take a look at this. Someone mentioned this too. You know, what's the length of time that it takes to get to this third, uh, this third attack here of Deadly Reach? That takes a decent amount of time. Now, how about the third attack of Fist of Thunder? Is that a little bit faster? It seems a little bit faster. The reason I say that is because you can do, you can go one, two, and then with that third one, and then all of a sudden you're getting to that third range, that third, that third stage of Deadly Reach quicker because Fist of Thunder's first two stages are quicker to begin with. Does that make sense to you guys? I think I explained that fairly well. So, yeah, people asked to see that. So there you go. You can see it now. Now, with this current stage and only having so many unlockable skills, it doesn't make a whole lot of sense to have two of these fury generators and no fury. I'm sorry, Jesus. Two of these spirit generators and no spirit spenders. Um, I guess I do have the dashing strike. That's technically a spirit spirit spender. I mean, it, it's not technically. It is a spirit spender. So, but I'm talking about. A, like damage wise. So why don't we replace dashing strike with flashing tail kicks. It's something that's actually doing additional damage. So now I've got just a full arsenal of kind of ponage, right? Like smacking people in the face with all sorts of stuff here. I'm going to be cut, cutting back on my mobility, but... So I took a little bit of time on that, but hopefully I explained it well enough for you guys and it makes sense to you now uh, how you can kind of mix it up. And this is one of the reasons why people are saying you know, it seems like the monk's gonna take take a decent amount of skill to be able to play effectively. Um, you know, being able to mix up these attacks and stuff like that. 
You know what I'm saying, guys? You know what I mean? Right, I believe I had something in here. I got some bracers. Those gonna be... Oh, look at that. Let's pick them up. Pick them up! Yeah, I don't know what to say after that. <laughs> I pretty much explained all that. Yeah, that. But the, those three. That I like the, the. I like that setup. I like the. I like the staged abilities thing. I think that it's got a lot of potential for doing various types of combinations. That one in particular, getting to that that extra long range of deadly reach quicker. It's definitely quicker. There's no doubt about that. Much quicker. And you open up with two of those, so. And then you can get that extra range. Let's bring it here from here. Aw, oh, missed it. What the heck? Alright, one, two. Oh, look at that range on that, huh? Nice. Very sexy. Very sexy indeed. I like that. I'm gonna keep doing that. <laughs> I'm just gonna do that nonstop. Now, I wonder if you can Lashing Tail Kick in the middle and still go through with it. So let's open up two Fist of Thunder, Lashing Tail Kick, and see if the next Deadly Reach hits that third wave. No, it doesn't look like it does. Shucks. Let me try that without monsters, see if it actually works here. Yeah, it starts off with that thirst first one. All right, so it's got to be immediate. You got to go straight from from one to the other if we're going with the f with the spirit generators and we want to kind of play around with what stages of the attacks are you can't throw in a, a spirit spender in the middle of it it's not gonna work it's good to know though right that was nice Let's see what we got here i'm gonna be switching up these spells now lethal decoy all right let's play around with lethal decoy shall we that's gonna replace the lashing tail kick Lethal de Decoy, 75 Spirit, uh, creates an illusion of pure holy energy that attracts enemies to itself and explodes after 5 seconds for 6 to 12 damage. 6 to 12 is not a lot, but let's just lay this down anyways. Here we go. i put two of them down. Oh, can I trigger one by dropping another? I think that's basically what just happened there. Hmm. Let's test that out. I want to see if you can trigger one because it, it, it'll, it'll blow after 5 seconds. But if you can force it to blow by dropping another one, that's that's actually, I think, almost better. I mean, you have to dump almost all of your spirit to do so, but that could almost be better. Um, at least it's much more tactical, you know, because it's very easy, you know, for people to... In PV, it's not going to happen, but if we're talking about in PvP situation... If someone sees a lethal decoy, they obviously stay away. And in fact, I'm pretty sure a lethal decoy would be crap if it if it couldn't be self-triggered by dropping another one. But if it can be, maybe it's you know maybe it's uh, has some potential, right? If you can lay down something, and then basically what you do is you set up situations where you lay it down in a position. Say your your ally's pulling back to heal himself up, or you know to try to regenerate some health because he's getting rocked. If you drop a lethal decoy in the path of whatever's chasing him. It could force them back for fear of hitting it and having you trigger it by dropping a second lethal decoy. That should make sense to you guys. Um, and so that's that's some potential, you know, that's got some potential strategical uh, capabilities. If that was in fact the case, if that is something you can do. All right, I'm back. I know you probably didn't even realize I was gone. That's a pause momentarily though. The lady friend called me. I've been crazy busy lately, and uh, we don't <laughs> really get to do a lot together, so I try to make sure that at least when she calls, when she gets out of work, that I'm picking up to say hello. Otherwise, what kind of a relationship would that be? I'd be a terrible boyfriend. Alright, now I got enough to actually do what I wanted to test out. Test this trigger drop in here. Let's see if this works. I really think it does. I want to find a big group, though. Kind of pointless to do it on like a s bunch of small shits like this here. Really doesn't make a lot of sense there. Let's see if we can find some... A large group of mofos <clears throat> for my lethal decoy. Ah, this is a good one. I got the events here. The ghostly woman. Oh, so spooky. Alright, ghostly woman. I'm gonna get rid of your... Uh, funerary urns. 
and then summon a whole bunch of these skelly boys. And let's uh let's let's pile them up here. Let's test my uh let's oh, I want to see I bet I could kill a crap ton of these guys. This will be good. I just got to try to make sure I avoid a, a lot of this uh a lot of these thorns damage here. Wow, there's not a lot. What the f. All right, guys, ready? You guys ready for this? Okay, ready? Let's see if I can detonate it. I can. Cool. Okay. Too bad uh, it wasn't a lot of guys that I killed, though. Oh well. But I can detonate it, so that's good. That's good to know, though, right? I mean, that's that's solid information. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. Take that, nine guys killed in one blow. That's kind of launchy. Uh, I amuse myself. I do, really. Let's see, I'll check out this sash here. Uh, a little less magic find, but um, I do have the benefit of the extra precision, which means more damage. I'll I'll do that. I don't really care. I'll sacrifice the magic find. It's the beta, guys. Come on, don't give me shit. <laughs> I just like I just assumed right um, no it's the beta I don't really I may do magic find runs in the future to just to show you guys that but right now I can can give two craps about the magic find it's not like I'm keeping this stuff you know what I mean it's not like any of this stuff is coming with me to release all right ready you guys ready for lethal decoy yeah too bad it's not enough damage to kill these guys outright <clears throat> as it were all right, time to leave this area. So lethal decoy is all right. I can see it's uh, got its, you know, possible functions in certain situations. Um, hopefully the damage scaling is good, so that way it would be useful later on. And again, I see with with the knowledge that you can trigger it by dropping a second, um, even though it's going to almost completely deplete your spirit because you, you'd have to go from, you know, what does it cost each? Seventy-five. Yeah, so you'd have to go from 150 down to zero. So you have to break 150 before you can even do that chain of events. But being able, it's like a, you know, it becomes like a remote mine, right? So that's good. Definitely got its PVP functions. It's got a, it's, it's got, it's got some opportunity. Checkpoint reached. It's like that. I think that means that this is the one. I think that that means that this is uh, this is the one that I need. We'll find out though if that assumption is correct. Actually, random a uh, fair amount of page of trainings dropping off of random mobs. Typically, you're only finding that really in bookshelves, but. Kidding me? Thanks. Here we go. Electrified. Actually, you know what I do want to check too. Is my inventory full? Holy crap! I want to see. Uh, I want to test out to see if the fist of whatever fist of thunder is actually doing damage to people in front of me, like uh, like the new tooltip says it does on the community site. I mentioned it in the video that I made specifically looking at that spell and people told me, oh, you're dumb, it's wrong. I know it doesn't say it on the tooltip here, but it might be in the game and the tooltip just doesn't read correctly. So let me find a group of guys and let me just lay down some Fist of Thunder and see if there's more than one target hit in a big group on the third hit. Because that's how it's supposed to be. That's how it says it is, on the again, on the community site. I'm really not going to make a difference, obviously, here with these single targets. I need, a, I need the groups. Let's find, let's find a group here. Here we go. You guys ready? Come on, stop. I hate these dudes. Okay, this should do it. Now, that was only one target hit. Hmm. Feel the wrath of Etaw. And that's the wrong one. I guess this works well for my exploration stuff, but 
Not very well for my patients. So life regen, crap, really. 7.7 isn't going to be an upgrade either. All right, well, at least now the next one is definitely it. <laughs> so uh, the hypothesis about the checkpoint was incorrect. Landing a checkpoint when you walk into the crypt doesn't mean that you're at the proper one. Is it going to nail this one? Too? Yeah, okay, you see. So someone told me that in the comments. That's what I get for listening to YouTube comments. Just a whole bunch of shenanigans, really. That's really all it is. Ah, oh, I uh, need to use my lethal decoy again. Just, I, I, I feel like it feels pointless when there's just two or three mobs around. I need a, I need a heaping, heaping load of guys to use it on. Let's see if these guys break down their own uh, wall. Did you guys see that? That <laughs> look at that! <laughs> Skeletons are dumb in this game. They kill them themselves. They climb in in your windows even. All right, let's lethal decoy here. No, you're supposed to be attacking the lethal decoy skeletons. Jeez, they're so dumb, they're not even doing what they're supposed to when I force them to. It's supposed to, right? Attracts enemies, okay, so it's not a guarantee, but it is supposed to attract them. Maybe it's not, the, maybe it's not skelly mating season, so they're not, <laughs> they're not really that bothered by it. They're not feeling the attraction today. That's the problem. Yeah, it doesn't seem like it's doing that right now. Well, it should in the future, basically. Uh, assuming, assuming that the tooltip is correct, then Fist of Thunder is going to be hitting uh, multiple enemies in front of you, whenever it's hot fix. I don't know. I mean, we still haven't seen the uh, the Demon Hunter or the Wizard hot fixes go through. Four changes that the that the skill calculator says that should be in place. So we're still waiting on those. So I mean, I understand if. There's still some stuff they haven't patched in. I believe I read in a blue post that there's a lot of stuff that they are reworking and they're doing so internally rather than continuously th throwing it through the beta testing. Their reasoning behind it, I, you know, I'm not 100% sure. But evidently that's what they're doing currently. Um, any changes that they plan to make. So even though it may be showing up on the skill calculator, it doesn't necessarily mean that we're going to be seeing it here in the beta. The Which is unfortunate. I, I'd like to see these things. You know what I mean? All right, I'm gonna detonate this one on Big Mofo, who's coming out here. Ready? Come here. And detonate. There it is. He took the damage. I figure by the time he gets close to this one, that one will explode on him too. There we go. Do those first two quick ones, and then follow up with the third. That looks good. That looks good. Ring of wounding. That's not that greatest. Oh, nice. That's two to four and a magic find on it. That is awesome. Scouting ring of wounding. Very nice. I'll just replace the two to four one. Very, very nice. I got to keep this though because the ring of woundings are like the best ones available right now. But that one takes the cake. Magic find in addition. And yes, clearly magic find is back in the game. Or, you know, it's in the game. If for some reason you haven't realized its presence so far, you just saw it there. All right, let's take out these guys while the other guys are gonna explode over here. There we go. Great. Up another decoy. That's pointless. Oh, he got healed too. The decoy, uh, the decoy saw the healing effects when I picked up the health globe. I really didn't expect that, and we got level eight. Oh. What a great time here in the Chancellor's Tomb. Picking up Crippling Wave. All right, so here's another thing. Same idea here. Let's replace Fist of Thunder. Let's get Crippling Wave. Crippling Wave, six bear per attack, a series of large sweeping attacks. Looks like he's doing a, what's it, Tai Chi over there? Uh, <laughs> a series of large sweeping attacks that cause 100% weapon damage to all enemies in front of you. Crippling Wave attacks dazed enemies, slowing movement by 50% for one and a half seconds. Not a very long snare, but it's a snare nonetheless. So let's look at the three waves here of Crippling Wave. One, two, and three. So we can see one, two, and three. See that? Or one, two, and three. So you can throw in the snare, you can do all sorts of things. I'm probably gonna go one, two, and then the third one, Crippling Wave. I think that's probably what I'll end up doing. Give myself the long reach for the first few attacks. 
and then do the snares if necessary on the crippling wave crippling wave crippling wave i don't know what i'm even looking for i'll just keep exploring this see if we can find anything no nothing i was hoping for maybe a treasure chest or something like that crippling wave looks cool that's for sure <clears throat> ain't no doubt in that nice nice animation there for the stone of recall for female monk and it's about time to head into the hefty portion of the randomization in this game, which is going to be there. New is the day it was placed upon the Black King's levels head. two, three, and four. I need something more than me. You ready for it? On our way to find the Black King, going through the levels two, three, and four of the cathedral. Who's that dog barking in the background? It's a crappy day. It was really nice outside earlier today, but right now it's looking kind of cloudy and a little bummed out. A trip to the gym will fix that, though, for certain. I'll be feeling all swollen and shit. <laughs> uh, that's funny. That is really funny. All right, let's do this, guys. Throw some crippling wave action in here. Look, those, those skeletons are super dumb. I don't know. I don't know, guys. I like that, though. What percentage weapon damage? It's only 100, right? Yeah. Knockback. What you know about that? Holy knockback. Nice. Good job. That was impressive. I think the problem with crippling wave right now for me is that enemies are... You know, I'm using deadly reach as well, so enemies aren't really spending a lot of time within melee range of me. That can be remedied, right? I don't know that I necessarily want to get rid of this, but let's drop a lethal decoy here. And then use some crippling wave on this guy. See, you only need the one for that snare, though, which is good. So I can snare someone and then pull back for deadly reaches. So you can see there's the snare, and then I can kind of kite around a little bit. Because you do have that extra, that slight extra range from deadly reach. So why not utilize it? One of those things that I, I think will certainly be beneficial in hardcore mode. You know, as a melee character, being able to slay, stay even slightly out of range of getting hit from uh, melee opponents, that's that's a good that's a, that's a good place to be at, you know? All right. I don't know how well that... Yeah. That the decoy pretty much did absolute crap right there. That was obviously my fault. Placement issues. Is that full AoE for that third attack? I think it might be. All enemies in front, right. But what about that third attack? Let's test that out as well, shall we? Let's find a group. Let me get surrounded. Let me see if that third wave uh, hits people behind me. I'll just face one direction. I think it... I don't know. I mean, it, visually, it seems like it should, right? I don't spin all the way around with that. Oh, was there a cone to that, though? Was there a frontal cone? Mm -hmm. I can't tell. Is that purple thing all the way around? Yeah, it is. So it, I think it might hit everyone around me. We'll see, though. We will. There's a great opportunity right here. All right, let's get surrounded. I'm going to hit just this one direction. Let's see if the guys behind me get snared. No, they do not. All right, so it is just in front of you. Okay, good to know. One of those things that are good to know. That's why we do this. That's why we're doing these Let's Plays. Testing things out here. Seeing what we can see. Learning what we can learn. Knowing what we can know. I got nothing else. That's, <laughs> that's, that's the end of my rant there. Alright, this guy's priority numero uno here. Guys, come on. You don't even look at the thing? What's the point of lethal decoy if no one's paying attention to it? What kind of a decoy is that? Uh, let, I'm going to let these guys gather up here. So these are kind of things you'll find them all over the place. And these little stupid skeletons, they do their little hump in there to the <laughs> to their banners. And they summon a whole bunch of other guys. But I like to let that come up because then that means I can get uh, some kill streak bonus stuff. And, you know, that's why not, right? That's uh, certainly a good thing. All right, let's do it. Let's get some kill streak bonus here. Definitely a little harder not using uh, dashing strike. 
not harder, but not as easy when I can kind of dance around the whole map. And there you go, you know, that's 100 and 105 extra XP that I would have had to do other things for to get, so. I think that certainly, especially when it's not, you know, detrimental or lo likely to kill you, uh, while leveling up, trying to find these places where you're able to get the, that bonus XP, it's a good thing, and it's something you should look for. Ah, uh, fuck, crap, sorry. <laughs> just swear, but can't believe I just missed that one area. And I, that's, that's, I guarantee it's probably not going to go anywhere else. It's probably going to end there. But since I'm doing a full explore, got to go back and check it. What a load of crap. All right. Oh, no, it does go out to nothing. <laughs> I get excited for nothing. It goes out to two dead villagers, which drop a friggin' scroll of companion. Which I don't even use, because I hate so much. I hate it so much. Okay, 